Have you ever wondered why love, one of the most profound emotions we can experience, often leaves us feeling exposed and defenseless? Love, in its essence, is a paradox. It has the power to make us feel invincible, as if we can conquer any adversity that life throws at us. Yet simultaneously, it leaves us vulnerable, our hearts exposed, our emotions on the line. This vulnerability, however, isn't a weakness, rather, it's an openness. It's about putting our guards down and allowing ourselves to fully experience both the highs and the lows that come with love. It's about accepting that there will be moments of joy and moments of pain, and understanding that both are integral parts of the journey. This openness to experience, this vulnerability, plays a pivotal role in love. It's the foundation upon which strong, lasting relationships are built. Vulnerability, it seems, is the price we pay for love. But what if it's more than just a price? What if it's the key? Imagine a world where vulnerability and love is not a weakness, but a strength. In this realm, vulnerability is seen as the cornerstone of deep, meaningful connections. It's the raw, unfiltered you. The you that's brave enough to bear all to take off the armor and let someone see the real you. Vulnerability isn't about wearing your heart on your sleeve, it's about being authentic and genuine. It's about opening up to the possibility of pain, but also to the potential for unending joy and understanding. In relationships, vulnerability is the catalyst for growth. It's the courage to say, here I am with all my flaws and imperfections, I trust you with my heart. And this, dear listeners, is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength. Vulnerability is not about getting lost in the whirlwind of love. It's about bravely stepping into the storm, unafraid of the winds that may come. Embracing vulnerability and love is not about losing yourself. It's about revealing your true self to someone else. The fear of vulnerability is the fear of the unknown. And love, in its essence, is a journey into the unknown. It's like venturing into a forest at night, armed only with the glow of hope and trust. The shadows can be daunting, representing our deepest fears in love. The fear of rejection looms large, a specter of not being good enough, of being unworthy of love. It whispers doubts in our ears, making us question our worthiness. Then there's the fear of getting hurt. The thought of opening up only to be wounded can make us build walls around our hearts. It's like wearing an invisible armor, protecting us from potential pain, but also keeping out the warmth of love. And let's not forget the fear of losing control of surrendering to the whims of our hearts. It's the fear of losing ourselves, of being swept away in the current of love. But remember, fear only has as much power as you give it. Overcoming vulnerability doesn't mean becoming invincible, it means becoming brave. It's about having the courage to let your guard down, to show your true self, and to risk getting hurt. And how do we cultivate this bravery? By practicing self-compassion, for one. We must understand that it's okay to be imperfect to make mistakes, to feel pain. After all, these are the things that make us human. Developing emotional intelligence is another crucial step. This involves recognizing our own emotions and those of others, and using this understanding to guide our thoughts and actions. And finally, we must work on cultivating a sense of security within ourselves. This means building a strong foundation of self-worth that doesn't depend on external validation. But remember, this isn't a race. It takes time patience and understanding. It's a journey of self-discovery and growth. In love, as in life, vulnerability is not the enemy. It's the ally that shows us who we truly are and what we are capable of. Thanks for watching and please like, share, subscribe, and while you are at it, remember to head on over to lovepinnacle.com for more great love and relationship tips and articles.